Another voiceover, all right? But we are we back, all right? We lit. I was supposed to put this out last week, but we let's get into it. So I combed it out, and I combed out this section before I start fading it. Put my bald guideline in, then I used my shavers, went up to that line, and left a little stubble under the guideline. Then I did the lever open about a half inch, and the one guy open, I'm just um, deep walking. And now I'm about to use my zero guard close, flicking out this middle line. As y'all can see on you, I am using um, Modified Clippers by The Vibers on Instagram. Make sure y'all hit her up. Alright, she does, she does that. Ah, she does great work. Um, and she don't cost that much compared to other um, blade sharpeners. So right now I'm doing detail work after I took out that bottom line with the lever close. And I'm doing whatever I can to um, sharpen up this blend. Now, as y'all can see, he did, my client does have a, like a real tough hairline. I'm gonna show y'all what I do to it and exactly how I'm gonna do what I'm about to do to it, okay? I know I'm gonna have some trolls that people that don't know what they're talking about. They're gonna be talking mess in the comments, you know what I'm saying? But it's cool, okay? I'm gonna just do me, you know what I'm saying? Teach the people that I wanna learn. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna just keep doing what I gotta do, all right? So on this side, I'm basically doing the same exact steps. I'm just speeding it up basically because I already told you guys what to do on the other side. Okay, now we about to line up the, the neckline. I went kind of high over his ear because um, I don't know if y'all can tell, but it's not really like strong up above his ear. So basically, it was like a bunch of thin areas. So I just cut all the thin areas off. Um, I know some some of y'all might disagree with that. Some of y'all might agree with that, but my client prefers it to be um, like darker, so it can give off like a, a super crispy effect. So um. I am going to enhance it, but I wanted it to be dark without the enhancement, so my client was happy, I was happy, we got the job done. Okay, so now this front line, basically it, it grows everywhere, like in all different kinds of places. So I did the one guard open to deep bulk on the sides. So basically what I'm going to do is go against the grain on every area that um, the front line grows. I have my comb. I'm basically just gonna show y'all where I'm gonna start at and um like how far I'm gonna go. So I'm gonna start in the middle, like right below that thin spot in the middle. I'm gonna come to both sides and I'm gonna bring the vertical bars to the end of the eyebrow, okay? Now I know I'm still I'm trying to show y'all what's the best way to do it, and I'm still gonna have some people in there saying push back push back listen there is nothing else you can do okay i could have left it natural with with the super tiny forehead but my client would have been pissed off i would have did that to him and plus plus he's a loyal client you know he's been coming to me for like you know what i'm saying since i started for real, for real i mean it has been times where i have i couldn't cut him you know what i'm saying he had to go to somebody else but for the most part he's been there so he's he's seen my growth 
and um, like how I managed to handle his hairline. So as y'all can see, these jeans is hitting. You know what I'm saying? These jeans is smacking right now. The lineup is gonna be crispy without the enhancements. Okay, he usually does not get enhancements. And I was like, bro, you gotta let me do it for the for the video for the YouTube video. And he was like, alright, man, only for the YouTube video. I was like, alright, bet, appreciate it. So we did use the enhancements. We are gonna get them right, okay? And then we use it. We are gonna use the pencil on the front line and behind the ears, just to give that lineup behind the ears like a little flare. You know what I'm saying? We don't want the cut to be basic, just because it is a basic cut. You know what I'm saying? Being where he got braids or dreads on top, whatever you wanna call it. Um, being that he got that on top, this is basically just a, just a clean up, you know, with the tape on the side and stuff like that. But if you add some flair to it, it can look like a whole different cut. So basically spraying these enhancements on, just trying to blend it in with the taper. Try not to make it look too fake. Now I'm using my Barber Magic Pencil. Um, I can say that I put it on a little bit too thick on the one side, but um, the cut still came out clean. But it is something I, I uh, paid attention to after. You know, you gotta, you gotta learn to look at your mistakes and just get better from looking at them. Put that barber magic pencil on, you want to trace it with your liner. And then after you trace it with your liner, you go in with the razor and blend it all in you know, as, good as, as good as you can. Alright, y'all, so y'all can see this shot right here is super duper clean. Okay, I'm getting the razor, I'm cleaning them up, the taper is looking crazy. That line up behind the ears is gonna go crazy after I hit it with the razor. And just gonna make the taper pop out. And y'all see I'm cleaning up like where all that excess hair used to grow on his forehead. You gotta make sure you hit that with the razor because it um it didn't make his haircut last a little longer. I know I know it's gonna grow back right in that area, but it didn't make it last a little longer than just a regular cut. Now I'm on the other side, it's just gonna do the same thing. Make sure you stretch that skin when using a razor, especially somebody that, that has had a hairline like this and you fixed it, okay, because you can not stretch the skin enough on those parts where the hair grow and it can cut super easy. So make sure you stretch the skin. That tape is looking crazy over here too, man. Alright y'all, this is the floor, so I'm going to keep it crazy, crazy edge up. So we got them together. I'll show you how to do after. Follow me on Instagram at wavekill underscore kev. And uh, that's it for me. I'm out of here. Deuces.